my name is Molly Gaston. I'm married to Jared Gaston. We've been married for almost four years and been parishioners at St. Charles Borromeo for almost as long. My faith journey really kind of began, I was, I was born and raised um, Catholic, cradle Catholic, always went to mass, um, went to Catholic grade school, um, Catholic high school for the two of the four years, and um, I've just always loved learning about the faith. Um, I remember kind of my earliest memories of really getting excited about learning about the faith um, was probably in sixth grade, seventh grade. Um, I remember in one of our religion classes learning about the individual parts of the Mass and the names for everything and what the importance was and what was happening. Like I remember learning about, you know, the epiclesis and the invocation during the liturgy of the Eucharist and I remember coming home and just being like so wowed that these parts of the Mass have names and that they're special and you know ever since then I've just I've loved learning about the faith and seeking out information and seeking out truth and so that kind of continued you know in high school I started helping with the confirmation retreats that our parish would put on because I wanted to pass on that that knowledge to the younger kids that I was so passionate about and help them learn about their faith and then when I got to college um, I went to the University of Nebraska-Lincoln um, where they have an awesome Newman Center and they had so many opportunities to learn about the faith from classes with the focus missionaries, they would have lecture series, they'd bring in speakers to talk about different topics um, and that was just heaven for me. I, I couldn't get enough of it. I remember specifically a, a Bible basics class and just having all of these aha moments of, you know, putting the different books of the Bible into context and relating the Old Testament to the New Testament and where we get parts of the Mass from in the scriptures and just, it just blew my mind and it was so amazing and just brought so much more fullness to the liturgy for me. My senior year, um, I had the opportunity to really delve into um, the sacred music side of liturgy, learning about you know, why do we do this? Why do we do that? Why is it important to maintain certain aspects of sacred music in the liturgy? It really just brings in a lot of truth and beauty to the liturgy, knowing that things are the way they are for a reason. I think really what it comes down to is the truth is beautiful and the truth is good and you can't have too much of it. And so as you're seeking out truth, the more truth you find, the more you want to keep seeking truth because you want to have more of those aha moments. You want to have more of that beauty in the liturgy and the faith. And I think the most important thing to remember that I actually just recently learned um, is all truth is God's truth. Um, and so as you're seeking out that truth, you know, if God chooses to reveal it to you, it must be the truth because only what God reveals to us can actually be the truth. And we see this in um, faith and the arts, we see this in faith and the sciences. Um, and so that to me just brings so much more fullness to the faith, knowing that all of these things are interwoven because God designed it to be that way. And so I would just encourage anyone who is maybe struggling with, well, why do we do this or why do we do that? Seek the truth, look for answers, and you will find that fullness that God wants to give to you.